Hello and greetings this week from the top of East Rock. Uh, since we can't be in the church at this moment, I wanted to say hello today from somewhere that's become important to me in this time of physical distancing. Like many of you, I've been going on a lot more walks recently just to get out. And this is one of my favorite places to come because I can look out over the city and even though I can't see you in person, I can imagine that you're there. I can imagine the city that is still full of people and full of life. And I can see the hospital on the horizon and think of those who are sick and those who are caring for them. I can see all of the neighborhoods of New Haven and I think especially of those that have been hit harder than others. And then I can look further uh, beyond the boundaries of the city of New Haven to those of you who live farther afield and I can imagine that maybe, just maybe, from the top of this hill I can see where you are today. And it's this idea that somehow in seeing, somehow in imagining you, it's in itself an act of prayer and staying connected in this time. Our gospel passage for this coming week is, coincidentally, a story about people taking a walk in the middle of a crisis. The story of the disciples on the road to Emmaus. But it's also a story about seeing, because as the disciples are on the road, they are joined by a stranger who is Jesus, but they don't recognize him at first. In fact, they walk miles and miles and finally they arrive in the city, <clears throat> and it isn't until the moment when they break bread together that their eyes are suddenly opened they see. I wonder what it would be like for us this week to have our eyes opened in the way that Jesus opens the eyes of the disciples. I wonder what it is that's right in front of our faces right now that we can't see because of our own fear or anxiety or exhaustion or just a sense of self-doubt as we get up every morning and wonder whether we are being a good enough person, a good enough employee, a good enough spouse or parent or friend or brother or sister. And instead, what if we tried to see others as God sees them? What if we tried to see ourselves as God sees us, not immediately with judgment, but instead with a sense of compassion and love and noticing how hard we're trying and noticing that in this moment, we are doing the best we can, and we are good enough, more than good enough. So I pray that God would open the eyes of our hearts this week to see God, to see one another, and to see ourselves as God sees us with love and compassion and forgiveness. And I look forward to seeing you on Zoom worship this coming Sunday. Until then, peace be with you.